Today we're going to try to repair this cassette tape recorder. Okay, this belongs to she who must be obeyed and she went out of town and wanted to know if I could repair this while she was gone. Alright, a cassette recorder, the cassette tape. This kiddies is what we used to use to play music on before the time of mp3 players, cell phones, and also CDs. And you could also use this to store data on it for computers. Uh, back when I was young, I had a Commodore VIC-20 and a Commodore 64, and you could actually store data on this. And the way this works is this tape here actually has uh, material in it which can be magnetized. And if you look inside of here, this right here is a head for it and what it would read the tape in a creative frequency. And the frequency would be converted into either audible sound or was well, all of it's converted into audible sound. And then you could take that sound or the frequency and you can uh, convert it into digital data. All right. When we put a tape in, and press play, nothing happens. But I have a hiss coming out of the speaker. Let me see if I can put this up here where you can hear it. Alright, this is an RCA RP3503. RCA stands for Radio Corporation of America. But, as we can see on the back, I don't know. Focus, damn you. Being Radio Corporation of America, it was made in China through the Thompson Corporation. Okay, this thing here, I could probably buy a digital recorder online far cheaper than this thing you can buy one of these for. I think they're, you can buy one used probably from anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks maybe. It, it really is a piece of junk. I mean, it's cheap. But she wants it repaired, so we're going to do our best. Okay, on this tear down or tear up, we have some screws here. Well, batteries are falling out everywhere. Looks like we have a Phillips head screw there, there, and then two on the inside here. Okay, let's get our redneck screwdriver out. This is not a screwdriver. This is a screwdriver. Just And we're inside. Now there's two rules to repairing things. The first and most important rule is if you can't repair it, break it to the point where nobody else can repair it. The second rule is if you don't know what you're doing, lie and act like you do. They say this is the repacitor and this is the rotocorder. And what's happening in between the two is just simple math, you know, ones and zeros. All right, we have some kind of shielding here, which is cardboard with a metallic coating on it. Only the best. And it appear 
it is, appears to be grounded to this. Wow. Okay. And we have some more screws to take out. And it appears this cheap piece of whatever it is, something grounded it to it too. Okay, let's turn on the old soldering iron. What do you think about it, John Luke Gorbachev? What do you think's wrong? Okay, let's desolder this. Okay, let me fire up the old and loud power supply. Let me turn it to six volts. Okay, now we have six volts going in. We're drawing 0.3 amps, 30 milliamps. And we're gonna check the voltage here on the motor. We're not getting anything at the motor, so it appears there's something going on with the circuit board. And when I press play, my power supply protection kicked in, so I think we have a short somewhere. All right, so now I have the wonderful job of checking for a short without the blueprints. So let's start unsoldering some of this stuff where I can get this board flipped over and take a look at it. Okay, if we look right here, we got some nasties going on on this board. This is the solder mass side. Give some good wide traces for we can trace this down, hopefully. I'm also going to take a picture so I can know where all these wires go. Okay, now we're going to get a brush out. First thing we're going to do is try to clean this up some. And we're going to get out the isopropyl alcohol. The 99% stuff. Isopropyl alcohol, that is not the stuff you drink, kiddies. When you're making moonshine, that is a byproduct you have to discard. You also uh, get some uh, methanol and some other stuff that you have to discard. It is the ethanol in which you drink. Do not drink this stuff. All right, let's get some on the brush. Give it a good scrub over. The 
this stuff evaporates real quick so and it's also non-conductive okay I've been poking around on this thing let's test this diode out here I've got my multimeter set to diode I'm going to put the negative on the cathode side and we're going to test the anode side in there's my forward voltage drop and we're going to swap her around something seems fishy speaking of fishing I wish I would it's fishing now but the rule is if she ain't happy you ain't happy okay now let's try to desolder this thing And let's find a diode to replace it with. Okay, I changed the diode out and still nothing. So I got the probing around. And right in here, if you can see, this is an IC. It's a 6650. It's a motor controller. And here is a veritable resistor, which controls the feedback, which adjusts the voltage going that drives the motor here. So when you put it in play, it sends less voltage, and it's actually uh, fine-tuned by the the variable resistor and then I imagine if you have it in reverse or forward it can change it uh, reverses the polarity of the motor all right now if we come in and we press play and I'm going to send a jumper wire first let me plug it in See, it's playing really, really fast. Imagine if I had a, the correct resistor, I could slow it down and you could actually tell what that was. Um, I'm just going to order a new IC for it and solder it in and I'll get back with everybody on it. If you like the video, hit the like button and I could definitely use some subscribers. So, And all comments are welcome. Y'all have a good day.